Hello everyone, welcome to your 20th C++ Qt game tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to start implementing the hex class. So let's go ahead and look at our plan sheet. And here's the hex class. Let's remind ourselves of what it's all about. So the hex represents a hex. It inherits from QGraphics polygon item because it is a polygon that we want to place into a scene. It has an owner attribute, which is just a Q string. It has a bunch of integer attributes that describe the value of each of its sides attacks. It has a get owner method, and then it has a get attack of method, which returns the attack of a specific side. I just came up with this new one that I uh, didn't think of originally when I made this plan, but I thought about it now, so I just added it. Um, but you can do that because obviously the plan is very flexible and uh, it doesn't really mean anything, it's just a plan. So you can change it whenever you want. Um, so I added the set attack of. Which will, which will basically set the attack of the side that you want. Oh, so I should do something like attack of side and then to value. Okay, um, let's go ahead and implement this. So we're going to create a new header file. We'll call it hex. Create a new source file. We'll also call it hex. Okay. Include Q graphics polygon item. We're going to inherit from it. We're going to need to obviously give it a constructor that takes an optional parent argument. All right. And uh, we're going to have to give it the attribute. So the Q string that represents the owner. Um, integer side one attack or side zero attack is the first side. We're going to have to copy and paste this. Oh man, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have copied it like that. There we go. Mm, I don't know what's going on here. Just need to copy that much. I think it's because the recorder is slowing down my computer. That's what's going on. Yeah. That looks like about six. So we'll do side one, side two, side three, side four, and side five. So zero to five is six sides, obviously. And then let's go ahead and do our getters and setters. Um, so this is our constructors. We only have one now, but we may add more later. This will be our getters. Um, so we're going to do, it. it's going to return an int, and we'll call it get attack of, and it'll do side. So which side do you want the attack of? Um, we'll have setters, void set attack of, and then we'll take side, and also value what we want to set the attack to. I'll just call this attack. Okay. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and uh, try to figure out a way to draw the hexagon. We're going to use a similar method um, to the way that we use to draw the polygon around the towers. If you recall that, if you haven't, maybe you can rewatch the video, but no worries. I'm going to quickly go over it again. So let's go ahead and go inside. Grab, uh, whenever I'm trying to draw things in Qt or any program for that re uh, for that matter, I start with a little graph paper and then I make a coordinate axis. So my x axis, my y axis, and then I just draw the smallest possible shape. So basically, here at the uh, 0, 1 point, I create a point, and then I create another point at 1, 0, another point at 2, 0. Basically, I create the outline of my shape, and then I write next to each point the coordinates of that point. So essentially, I am um, I have a list of points here that defines my shape. Now, you know that a, cube, a, a polygon is just a list of points. So I just have to remember this list of points. And then if I want to uh, scale this polygon, I can make it larger or even smaller by just multiplying each of my points. So. Um, now I just went through this and I wrote down all the points that I need to draw this hexagon. So let me just copy and paste this so that I remember. Okay, so let's go inside the constructor, add it, 
include hex. All right. And uh, then we're going to draw. So that's what we want to do is draw the polygon. OK, um, those are the points that we need. So let's first create that list of points. Um, let me just. So we're going to go ahead and create a Q vector that will store a bunch of Q point Fs. And we're going to call, or yeah, Q point Fs. We're going to call this hex points. OK. So let's go ahead and include Q vector. I don't think we'll have to include it. If, if it wants us to include it, it'll ask us to. So let's not worry about it right now. Um, OK. So now let's go ahead and put all, all of our points in here. Hex points. Q point F. Uh, we're going to put one zero. And then Q point F. We're going to put two zero. And then. Uh, let me just copy and paste. And then 3, 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and come down to the next line. I'm going to put 2, 2. And then 1, 2. And then 0, 1. So this is the list of points that defines a hexagon. OK, I have that. Um, and then I want to go ahead and scale this a little bit, because right now it's way too small. So let's just say we're going to create a, a number called scale, scale by, OK. So scale by 40. Let's try that. So basically, the way we scale it is we just multiply all the points. So let's traverse through them and multiply them each by this scale by, which is 40. So for size ti equals 0 and equal hex size. It's a matter, but OK. So we're going to take the ith hex point and we're going to basically multiply it times equals um, scale by. Okay, and that should scale, that should multiply each of these points by 40 to make our hexagon bigger. Um, and then let's go ahead and create an actual polygon object. Recall that there's a difference between Q polygon and Q graphics polygon. A Q graphics polygon will actually represent a, a drawing of a polygon. You have to create the polygon first. So we'll create a Q polygon, um, Q polygon F, so that we can handle floating points just in case we ever want to. Um, hexagon, we'll call it hexagon, and that takes a list of points. So here's our polygon. That's just title. So create a polygon with the scaled points and here we scaled so scale the points okay so these are the steps that we're taking to draw the polygon all right um, now we actually draw the polygon so draw the polygon this is simply a matter of calling set polygon and passing in this hexagon polygon that we created because remember our hex inherits from uh, Q graphics polygon so the set polygon takes an actual polygon and it will draw it okay so let's go ahead and test this out by creating one of these so let's go into the game and let's go into the start function add definition And uh, so let's do test code. OK, to do remove. All right, let's include our header. Let's create one. 
x is equal to new hex. Um, okay, and let's do scene, add item, this hex. Let's make sure that we actually call the start method of the game at some point. So after we create the game and after we show it, we're going to call the start method, which creates the hex. Let's run it. Okay, no problem. We know how to solve this usually. It just looks weird when it's all the way in the corner like this. So if I just go ahead and um, move it, hex set position to 100, 100, it looks absolutely fine. There we go. Okay, so in this tutorial, we implemented the hex class and then we drew it uh, using a list of points to generate a Q polygon and then we set that, uh, we visualize that polygon using a Q graphics polygon. Um, okay, so thank you for watching. Um, please let me know whether I was going too fast or too slow or if there's something that you would like me to cover that I have not covered yet. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye. My computer's frozen. Uh, come on.